since, since immunotherapy has arrived at the, at the scene for yeah. let's say 10, 12 years ago, it, mm. it has really changed the, 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 the way we look about cancer mm. and, and given a lot of people hope. Yeah, I mean, building on what was just shared, I mean, over the last years, there's been such a progress in looking at how do you boost the immune system um, and, uh, and that has really transformed the way uh, uh, the way cancer I I is treated and um, now what's, what's interesting is as we look at science we now continue to have multiple programs and we have the, the broadest clinical program mm. to look at how do you continue looking for um, the right uh, molecules to address multiple checkpoint inhibitors to really uh, boost the immune system yeah. um, the second area that we're uh, we're studying is uh, medicines that address uh, pathways that um, are pathways through which uh, the cancer grows and how do you try to block some of those pathways. Mm. Mm. So there are multiple uh, medicines there already and we have a broad program into that uh, field. And then the third area that we're studying is uh, how do you try to work on the um, um, target tissues and the sensitivities of um, of those tissues. So in particular, you have a new class uh, that multiple companies are, are studying, which are uh, the antibody drug conjugates. And we have, uh, again, there, the broadest clinical development program mm. uh, alone and with partners. Uh, so we're gonna, we've seen tremendous mm -hmm. changes in the mm. last uh, five to eight years, and we're gonna see even more in the next 10 years.